Hi everybody, welcome back. And today, my offering to you is a Hot Point Bandmaster made by AGE, Australian General Electric. And um, this is Quinn Museum, 1941, model C64ME. And um, one thing I did know straight away was the, uh, the doll face, how it's um, out here on an angle. It reminds me of the, uh, the old egg crate. That I did just a little while back. Um, other than that, look, it's it's different because it's a wooden case, and um, didn't know they made them in wooden cases. Um, but pretty good nick, and there's some uh, vinyl covering there, which is um, yeah, it's still in pretty good condition. A couple of nicks and scratches, but hey, you know, 82 year old radio. So what have we got? Um, that's okay. Tuning's working well. I don't know, volume or tone. Oh, on off switch. Again, volume or tone. On off switches on pre World War II radios, not common, from my experience anyway. A um, few little, um, needs a bit of work on it, as you can see, some of the uh, cracking and that um, on the paint, and somebody's been at this. I'm pretty sure that's not the original um, paint on it, the way it looks it to me. But inside, very simple, very neat, quite clean for its age. Um, four valve, what have we got, 6A8, what's that, 6G6? No, 6G8 it should be, there's a little, uh, little bit of paper there, identifying everything, so I'm not sure. Uh, Squid old 6B6 and no doubt 5Y3. All right, we'll get this thing out of the case and we'll see what's in store for us. Well, here it is out of the case. That took about like, I don't know, 30 seconds. That was pretty easy. Um, all right, a minute, not 30 seconds. And how am I going to... Oh, yeah, well, the transformer, certainly. Underneath the speaker, a little bit of work done to it. Okay, a bit of silicon. All right, so let's check this out. See what's been done to it. And yeah, we've got, let me have a look, so we've got some replacement parts in there, yeah, yeah, um, an old waxy's been left, I, I don't know, can't tell, I'll take a good look at them later, but I'm just having a cursory glance, still got a waxy there, right there, and another 50,000 PF. What the hell is that? Oh, well, I'll find out what 50,000 PF is. What, 0.47, maybe? I don't know. Just guessing. And just like the uh, egg crate. Yep. It's got one of those shitty transformers. Let's hope that all works. Anyway, I'm going to get this thing... Mm. Oh, yeah, I know how to do it. Just like the other one. Have to work on it this way, unfortunately. Um... And we've got some power wire there, which is good, but we'll um, run some tests on it first and uh, see what we're in for. Okay, um, let's check the um, field coil. And I haven't checked the the, uh, the schematic at all, but, 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 it should be on, it should be connected to the positives of both of these. So that's one cap there. Not the cap, and I know it's a thousand, it should be a thousand ohm. Nine, nine hundred and fifty-two ohms. Oh, well, nine and a half, nine hundred and fifty ohms, thereabouts, close enough to a thousand. Um, the other thing I want to check, given that uh, I had trouble with that uh, egg crate, let's check out the resistance on the uh, power transformer. So, is it primary? Yeah, 21 ohms, sounds about right. What have we got here? On the output, 287. One of them's the center tap. Right, so there are our two HT lines right there. And there's a center tap there. And 275. All good, all good. The thing is, I've just got to check the wiring for the speaker, and we'll see if the output 20 and the speaker are working. So just give me a second. Why? It's just a, 
um, a green wire and a brown wire coming out of the output transformer. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, so let's turn it on. You probably can't hear it, but it is working. I can hear something. All right, so I'll just get some power to it and we will give it a power up. Okay, here we go. And just get over the variac. And let's give it a bit of juice. Not seeing anything happening. 100 volts so far. And you know what? It always helps when you plug the power cord into the current limiter. All right. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. And we've got some life. And both the dog globes are working. How about that? I've got the antenna attached as well, just in case. So far, so good. Bring it up to 180 volts. Just leave it there for a little bit. Good dropping down. Oh, let's bring it up to that good old 200 where it should work. And pardon that noise out there, they're re ripping up the street, the bitumen, and retiring it. Well, not a, not a cracker. No sound whatsoever. All right, I'll turn that off, and we'll just check for some um, check the valves, see what they're doing. Well, I checked the valves, and um, yeah, they're all glowing except for well, six v six was, but not as much as I um, am used to. And also, this one's had a little bit of work done to it as well. So I thought, oh well, why not? Let's just um, swap it out. And hopefully the one I've put in place works. So powering up now. No, at least this one's glowing. No sound whatsoever. Interesting. All right, all right. Have a look at it more closely. Well, I was rechecking the valves again, and I noticed here that uh, rather than a 6B8, which is what it should be, he had a 6, 6G8. Um, I'll put that in, turn it on, nothing happened. So I was, while it was um, not working, I happened to spy the um, 6A8 and I actually didn't see a glow. I thought I did earlier, but there was no glow in it. So um, I just grabbed another one and uh, we'll put it in and see what happens. This might fix it. Oh, look at that. I think I'll turn that down. <laughs> How cool is that? All right, I think I'll, get, I'll find another valve. Pretty sure no, it is 6A8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll double check. Okay, another one. Let's see what this does. Up we go. Try and see if there's a glow in the valve, and yeah, paint one. Got 
Got some sound. Not real good. That's working. Ooh. God, that sounds like shit. Anyway, anyway, hey, it works. So, valve issues, not a problem. Um, oh, I know I've got more 6A8s in case that's problematic. Um, actually, actually, I'm just curious, as, as, we, as we do, I'll pull out my 6B6 and I'll put the original one back in. See what happens. If it's going to work at all, at least that way I'll be 100% sure that I can turf the valve. No, it works. Get ready for a huge winter of cricket from the UK. I think it works better than my replacement. The women's ashes. I think I'll just leave that in there and, uh, and I'll mark this one as uh, iffy. But it does work anyway, so I'm not going to turf it. Um, yeah. Okay. All good. All good. So, I'll, um, you know, I'm going to take a break and I'll be back and we're just going to start recapping the thing anyway. Well, those caps are done and I did a, a poly. It's in there as well, point one, and also change the uh, cathode bypass. So I'm just powering it up now, and hopefully it still works. And oh yeah. Childcare programs. Uh, so uh, again, for us, the decision that the Knox City Council are making does not stack up. And oh, I whoa. think the community in Knox uh, should rightly expect that the Sounds pretty bad. Because I just saw the cone flopping up and down, so... They provide services and programs for the local community that they have to find why are they walking away from these kindergarten families. In Kabul, Afghanistan, at a school for street kids who, you know, they could be pretty boisterous. Yeah, sorry about rowdy, the downtime, but, um, but as soon just listening. As you walked in, Anyway, They're anyway. Very um, I'll glue that cone back down and um, then we'll just get on. Let me see. I've got three caps to go and uh, that's all that I, apart from the, uh, the tone, of course, and I'll check the value on that. And I did have a look at the um, schematic and, of course, it's, it's down below should you wish to look at it. Um, and that was just the switch and the guy has, um, previous owner or whoever, has uh, put in a, an on off of, and volume switch, which I think the sorry, on off tones, tone pot, or <laughs> anyway, pot, and um, it seemed to work, I think, from what I recall. And the other thing he's done, he's changed the um, volume pot from the original to, um, I guess, whatever he had lying around. So um, I did take notice actually that. Um, the volume pot is only 4K, according to the schematic. So let's measure this while we're at it. And where are those two end terminals there? And there. And we're getting... Ah, oh, gee. Around about 200K. So from the 4K pot up to... 200k? Nah. So, I'll find another pot for it, and that'll be probably one of the last jobs I do. Uh, but for now, I'm going to get onto those, um, <laughs> those sorry caps, and uh, and we'll check out the resistors as well. But again, guys, a done deal. Done deal. Back soon. Well, the hot point is all done, and, uh, you know, apart from getting it going, there really wasn't much to do. Just simple recap and um, change all those... Um, out of spec resistors, which I did, and 
I'm going to put it back in the case and give it that final run through. But in the meantime, this isn't an ad. Um, this is this went for comedy back in uh, around about 2010. Um, comedian Heath Franklin here for, here in Australia, and he impersonates Mark Chopper Reed. And I've always liked the skit. And this does come from Aussie television, so <laughs> there is a language warning. The guy squares more than me. But um, Chopper was a uh, notorious criminal here in Australia, um, spent a lot of time in prison, claimed he'd murdered 19 people, um, mainly drug dealers and whatnot. He hated drug dealers. And um, then he wrote books and uh, did personal appearances, and yeah, until he died. But anyway, check this out. See what you think. I'll be back soon. Fucking hello! 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 How's it going? Fucking here we are, special guest bloody weather man. Fucking chopper, what's the fucking weather like here? Hey, hey, fucking, I don't know fucking anything about weather, but bloody here I am with a fucking map of Australia. Hey, on the fucking telly, hello Australia. Hey, let's bloody get into it, will we? Fucking alrighty, we'll start off with bloody Darwin. Hey, there's a fucking cyclone coming to Darwin. Hey, Fucking Cyclone Tanya. There you go. Fucking stick on your fucking. <laughs> fucking anyway. What is Cyclone Tanya's coming through? Yeah, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Oh, my fucking house is blowing away. Fucking. Alrighty. Fucking what do we got next? Huh? Bloody Alice Springs. Huh? How about this, Alice Springs? I'll give you a fucking forecast for the next thousand fucking years, alright? <laughs> Be fucking hot, all right? And if it's not fucking hot, it'll be hot and fucking wet, all right? Uh, all righty, moving on. Down here in fucking Canberra, eh? Uh, I know you folks are sitting there going, oh, oh, fucking chopper, we don't give a fuck about the weather. We're bloody stoned out of our tits and fucking watching pornography and bloody letting off fireworks, you fucking drug addicts. All righty. Down here in the great fucking Australian bite, yeah, the waves are fucking coming up, you know? So fucking every fucking idiot with his surfboard's gonna be there, yeah? Which means every shark with half a brain, yeah? He's gonna fucking be there as well, isn't he? Yeah? Fucking cowabunga dude, surf's fucking up, chomp! Yeah? All right, fucking here we go. What's bloody going on in Adelaide? All right, we'll go on to Tasmania, yeah? Fucking down here in Tassie, yeah, where Chopper's got his little farm. The fucking weather's always nice, isn't it? Yeah, hello, Chopper. Hello, he's fucking down in his house here. He's fucking waving at us. All righty, we're bloody going up to Sydney now. Yeah, and the fucking these fucking wankers with their bridge. Yeah, the weather'll be fine. In fact, fucking while we're on it, why do they get a fucking bridge? Yeah? Tell you what I'll do. I got this fucking bridge. Put it between bloody Tassie, where Chopper lives, <laughs> and fucking Melbourne, where Chopper works, eh? <laughs> Sneak on up and play fucking Neville Bartos a visit. <laughs> uh, and, then, and in fucking Melbourne, there's going to be a hail, right? A hail of fucking bullets at Neville Bartos's house. <laughs> uh, fucking come on, Neville. Let me in, mate. Fucking let me in. Come on. Oh, very rude, Chopper. Look at me. I'm fucking bang. <laughs> Yeah, all right. And then over here in Perth, right? The fucking well, it doesn't fucking matter what the weather like in Perth. By the time they get this in three fucking hours, it'll have changed. Uh, you're, you're, you're so fucking far away, Perth. Why don't you just fucking keep going? Go on. I'm fucking chopper, and that's the fucking weather. Well, I hope you found that uh, that skit amusing. I, I certainly do. One of my favourite ones. And there's plenty more choppers on uh, YouTube uh, if you uh, get into him. Anyway, all back in the case. And like I said, it took me about a, half a minute to get it out of the case. It took me like about five to get it back in and get those screws aligned up. Aligned, aligned up. Yep, that's, that sounds right. Okay. So let's turn it on. And bam! That's bright. Yeah, please work. Here we go. How many drinks a day? Good afternoon. I said, oh, I have no idea. Cool. <laughs> and he came 
trucks chasing up the Department of Transport and the bus company, because I think that, that, that stinks as a customer service response. There absolutely has to be functionality, availability. For I heard the news. Ellen from Sunbury, thank you. Not bad. Turn it down. I mean, look, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, but it's a cute looking radio. Cute. I like it. Uh, anyway, that's it. An easy one. Uh, trying to work. Uh, it was just a valve problem, really. And um, just sorted that out fairly quickly. And um, yeah, got it going. So another one done. Another easy one, to be honest. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I keep saying, hopefully we'll find something that can provide a challenge. Uh, but not too much of a challenge. Anyway. All right, guys, thanks very much. I will catch you all again very, very soon. Take care, have fun, stay safe. Bye.